was so good to see all of you last week. Just put a big smile on my heart, and I know it's that you enjoyed it too, because I could see the smiles on your faces. I got a story today from Dana Kenziba. Llama Llama Red Pajama. It's written and illustrated by Dan Dooney. Llama Llama Red Pajama. Oh, nice colors and patchwork. This is for all my little llamas. So this would be for also, I'm reading for all of my kindergartners. Llama Llama Red Pajama reads a story with his mama. Must be nighttime because it looks like they're going to bed. Mama kisses baby's hair. Mama Llama goes downstairs. She's saying good night. Llama Llama Red Pajama feels alone without his mama. Baby Llama wants a drink. Mama's at the kitchen sink. Hmm, there were some words that rhyme there. Drink and, yep, you were right. Drink and sink. Llama Llama Red Pajama calls down to his Llama Mama. Mama says, she'll be up soon. Baby Llama hums a tune. Soon, tune. Yes, those are the rhyming words. The baby must be a little afraid to be in the room by himself. I'm sure some of you feel have felt like that before also. Llama Llama Red Pajama waiting, waiting for his mama. Mama isn't coming yet. Baby Llama starts to fret. <gasps> oh, where's Mama? Llama Llama Red Pajama whispers softly for his Mama. Mama Llama hears the phone. Baby Llama starts to moan. Phone and moan are our rhyming words. He hasn't seen Mama again yet. Llama Llama Red Pajama listens quiet for his mama. What is Mama Llama doing? Baby Llama starts boo-hooing. Oh, what mama? Hmm. So the two people that we're reading about in our story might be whom? Did you say Mama Llama and La Baby Llama? You are correct. What time of day is our story taking place? Is it school time? Is it early in the morning? Or is it bedtime? I hope you guessed bedtime because you are also right there. Llama Llama Red Pajama hollers loudly for his mama. Mama! Baby Llama stomps and pouts. Baby Llama jumps and shouts. Oh! My, I don't know if that's the right thing. I don't know if he's showing good character doing it that way. Llama Llama Red Pajama in the dark without his mama. Eyes wide open, covers drawn. What if Mama Llama's gone? Oh, how does he feel? I'm sure that you have felt that way too. He does, he feels scared. Llama Llama Red Pajama, weeping, wailing for his mama. Will his mama ever come? Mama Llama, run, run, run. Wow, he is definitely not using his inside voice. Mama hears him yelling, and she comes running. Was it that big of an emergency? Baby Llama wants what a tizzy. Sometimes Mama and Llama's very busy. Please stop all this Llama drama and be patient with your Mama. Hmm. I think you've heard me say that many times at school. Raise your hand and wait your turn. Little Llama, don't you know, Mama Llama loves you so. 
Mama Llama's always near, even if she's not right here. Llama Llama Red Pajama gets two kisses from his mama. Snuggles pillow, soft and deep. Baby Llama goes to sleep. He just needed one more kiss and maybe a hug from his mama, which I'm sure that all of you also ask for at times. So today, I would like for us to revisit our subtraction when we have two groups of objects that come together and some are taken away. And I would like for us to use the tens frame. So if you can, I would like for you to help me out. Our first problem is seven take away five. And you see our tens frame, I do have seven. If I take five away, the yellow go away. How many cars are left today? Hmm, I bet you could say two because there would be two left. Seven take away five would leave us with two. Another car problem we have today is 10. 10, say it with me, 10, take away one. 10, take one away, I've changed the color or I can take it away, would leave us with how many? You're right, pat yourself on the back, there would be nine left. 10 take away one would be nine. Now I have eight. I need to show eight. Five on the top, three on the bottom. Eight take away seven. Let's count them back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I had eight cars and seven of them left, how many is left for us? There would be one left. Our next one would be a quite simple one. If there were four yellow cars at school and three of them left, how many did we have left? Sitting at the school. Yes, there's one. Kiss your brain. Good job. You guys are really doing well with this. So my next one is eight. So I need to show eight. Eight, can you remember, what could be four on the top. It could also be four on the bottom. Eight. Take two away. How many do I have left? Four and two makes six, you're right. Give a hip hip hooray. Doing well today. Let's practice with six. If I have six and I take one away, how many is left? You're so right. I think you've already said it nice and loud. Five, good job. This one, it's a yellow car. So if there are five yellow cars and one zooms away, how many is left today? Yes, there would be four. Good job, thumbs up. Let's try another one. Six, six yellow cars. We have six and how many am I taking away from our group? You're right. There will be two. So I can take two away and how many is left? Put it in your thinking bubble. Now say it out loud. Did you say four? Yay, good job, hip hip hooray. Let's try another one. Eight, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight. How many are we taking away? Yes, we're going to take away six. 
And I could also do it this way. I could take six away because I know five on the top and one on the bottom makes six. How many will be left? You're right, there's two. Pat yourself on the back. You're doing very well with this today. Let's look at another one. Oh, this is a tough one. Let me see if you can figure out. Hold up two fingers because you can also use fingers. Take one away. So if you have two and you take one away, how many do you have left? You're right, just one. Take that one and kiss your brain. You're doing awesome. Let's do another easy one. Hold up three fingers and I'll show three here. Three, take two of them away. Three, take away two is how many? Yay, it is one. You're my number one today. You're doing great. Keep up the good work. This is a little harder. We have nine. So to fill in my tens frame, I need to fill it all in except for how many to make nine. Right, I need to fill it all in except for one. So I have nine, five on the top, four on the bottom. And I'm taking four away. So if I take the four off of the bottom, how many is left for nine take away four? Yay, it's five, you're right, five on the top. So we've had some subtraction problems today. What I would like for you to do is to make some subtraction problems with some of your toys and then make a little story to tell mom and dad about how many toys you have, if some of them are put away, how many are left out to play with. So try that problem for me with toys. Also try it with maybe setting the table for mom. And then after you have your dinner, you can help clear off the plates talk about how many plates you start with and how many plates are left clean. That might be a little harder one for bigger families, but would be fun to try. So try that at home and until next time, bye-bye.